Hey guys, this is Archon the Wizard, and you're looking at Transcendence right here. It's a new game, just came out on Steam, and I streamed it today along with three other games, but I gotta say, this was definitely my favorite today. I love this kind of game, and I'm excited to show you guys it. Now, it's not without its faults, of course. Every game has some, and this is definitely one of those. Um, but I can't wait to show you guys um, what I found out about it today. It reminds me a little bit of Faster Than Light, if you've played that game. It has a similar uh, progression type than that. So you see, we start off right here choosing a spaceship. It is an open world space exploration game and um, different spaceships have different pros and cons. Some of them can carry more cargo like the freighter while other of them can have uh, more weapons like the gunship and um, I I went with the um, the Manicore gunship my second playthrough. I really like that so I think I'm gonna try maybe this Wolfen class gunship. It's gonna be a little less beefy but a little bit faster and I think it will be pretty fun. So there's a large story element to the game. That's something that separates it from games like Faster Than Light. And I'm not huge on story, so that kind of slowed down the gameplay for me. But I know I am um, i don't represent everyone in that, in that um, matter. So some people are going to really like you know, the heavy story elements. So I'm just going to skip that for now. And when you guys play it, you can read the story if you like that. Uh, the controls was one of the things I had a little bit of trouble with, and it's very possible that they wanted the controls to be a little tricky. I'd say after I played it for a while, they started to feel a lot better, and if I played it enough, maybe they would feel great. Uh, but you control using the arrow keys. You can only just turn and then move forward, and then you can shoot uh, with space bar or control, uh, shift con can shoot rockets if you have them, and you can get all kinds of upgrades for your ship um, that uh, that you can use different abilities with once you get the upgrades. You can see in the top left I have fuel. I'm using fuel when I get around, and if you ever completely run out of fuel, it's game over. Game over if you run out of fuel, and game over if your ship dies. You can see in the bottom right I have my whole life. Uh, you have four different, at least on this ship, I have four different holes that all have a certain amount of life. When I get hit, they go down, and um, when you're away from combat, not getting hit, they'll come back up. So you just can't get hit too much at once. If you die or run out of fuel, you start all over. That's something that has in common with games like Faster Than Life. So I'm going to just start by going to this little ally base right here, and you can see you can ask some questions. It's mostly story-related questions, but it can also tell you what you're trying to do. And basically, you're trying to get to the galactic core. That's you win the game if you get to the Galactic Core. You have to go through a series of zones, and the final one, if you get there, you win. And I actually haven't won yet. I've gotten through, I think, about five zones in my best run. Um, but I'm just going to skip this part right now. If you want to, you can practice, but uh, I'm just going to say no thanks for now because I've already done this. And then um, you can get your first quest right here. Now, it seems like the quests are randomly generated, so every playthrough is going to be a little bit different. And uh, you'll probably do a little bit better each time you play. If you pull up the map, you can see each of the zones is pretty big. And um, to get around quicker, you can use uh, autopilot. You hit A and you just travel kind of light speed. It's, it saves you on fuel. It gets you from place to place quicker. I'm going to show you a little bit of the combat. This is a uh, an enemy base here. You see, the, the enemies in the first zone are pretty easy. They're going to die uh, quickly. Although, my first playthrough, I, w I was not very good at these controls. And it still took me <laughs> quite some time to kill some of these enemies. Um, but when you kill enemies, you get to loot. Uh, some of the enemies, usually the bigger enemies, you can loot, but um, pretty much always you can loot their bases. And their bases are going to drop all kinds of items. Um, a lot of the items are going to sell, and you can use that money you get from selling to buy other upgrades. Uh, but then also, sometimes you'll loot upgrades as well. So here I'm just getting some Centuri Rice. I, I still don't know the actual use of this item. There's so many items in the game, which, you know, can be a good thing, a lot of depth to the game, but also it's kind of confusing the first time. I, for now, I just loot everything. If you have a bigger ship, you can kind of afford to do that. Um, the more weapon-based ships are going to eventually run out of cargo space, and then you have to choose what you want to keep and what you don't. So you can get um, new weapons, you can have multiple weapons on your ship at once, you can get new armor and shields. We're going to autopilot here, try to find, see what else we can find. Aha, we've got a warlord camp here. And, uh, and then you can get all kinds of like usable items that you can use during combat. Um, you, can, you can buy stuff to sell at other places to try to make a profit. There's a lot of depth to the game, and, and I haven't even been able to 
um, get into all the depth uh, in the short amount of time I've played it, but so far it's been really fun. I keep wanting to come back. You can get through a play session pretty quickly, especially if you're as bad at the game as I am, and then it just it keeps you making, wanting to try again, use a different ship, try a different strategy. Here you can see we found a weapon, but it's damaged, so we can't use the weapon. We can sell it, and there might even be a way to repair it, but I haven't, um, I haven't seen that yet. So uh, there's also quests. I haven't grabbed a quest yet because I kind of just wanted to show you around. Um, but you can, it is a space exploration game and it's open world, so it's going to be different every time you play it, and you can just, you can just travel around. Here's a, a friendly city here. So when you get up to any of these areas, you can hit D to dock. If it's an enemy place, you can hit D to dock and then loot. Otherwise, you can come here and different cities have different things you can do. So here we can refuel. Again, if, you, if we ever run out of fuel, we die. Game over. So we're going to buy some fuel. You can see that took about 100 credits from us. We're at 158 right now. Weapons here, you can get upgrades for your current weapon if you want to. Uh, I don't have the uh, money right now to do that or you can replace it with a new weapon or if you have an empty weapon slot you can get a new weapon there and um, for the most part as far as I've seen there might be a way to do this otherwise but you can only have one weapon shooting at once and then if you have missiles you can uh, use shift to shoot those missiles and they're a little more powerful although I commonly found myself just selling missiles a lot of the time so that's all I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna fuel up and then we're gonna go looking for the next zone so I can kind of show you what that's like. And actually, hey, we found it. So you get to these little portals, you hit G, you go through there, and that takes you to the next zone. It's gonna be a little bit harder, the rewards are gonna be a little bit better, and you're gonna be a little bit closer to getting to the galactic core and beating the game. And it's there's not a ton to the game other than that, um, but that's really the beauty of the game, is you get to just explore, through an open world, you never know what you're gonna find. Uh, there's a lot of RNG elements, so some some runs you're gonna get really lucky and you get some awesome loot. Right here, we just came up to a large group of enemies. You see, sometimes you get in over your head, and maybe maybe this would be a good example of that. We'll see. Um, oh, we got some more enemy ships coming from the other side here. You can see the hole and my hole in the bottom right. I'm starting to take some damage. And you'll get a warning if your hole's getting too low, and then you'll just have to run out. So if you wait too long, of course, then uh, your hole's going to die before you can start to repair it. So there it says, hole breach imminent. I'm going to get out of here. Put on my autopilot to make sure I'm far enough away. And then um, I believe my hole will start to repair. But given that my uh, lowest one is still at 9, it makes me wonder if that was just it had something to do with the ship I had before. So it looks like this ship I might actually have to repair uh, manually. It looks like I might have a, a shield that will block the the first shots um, but that's um, yeah, it's a lot of the fun in the game too is that each of the ships kinda act a little bit differently but I'm gonna stay away from there and act actually maybe this is just a good place to end the review as I think I've uh, explained the game well and I don't wanna be embarrassed and, and, and die on this YouTube video in front of you guys so um, yeah I definitely recommend checking out the game if you like this kinda game if you like procedurally generated worlds open worlds exploration and um, and just grinding, and uh, it has a lot of replay value to it. It's uh, definitely a lot of fun, and you can pick it up on Steam. It just came out today, I believe. So Transcendence, I give it thumbs up. The combat could be a little bit better, but other than that, it's a really fun, addicting game. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna have more indie game reviews coming up soon. If you like these, hit that subscribe button, and you'll get an update when I release new videos. See you guys later.